It's time for Food to Go, and joining us with all the details is writer Yamaguchi and Briani Caldwell of Writer's Poke. Aloha, guys. Thanks Hi. for joining us this morning so early. Yes, of course. All right, just to kick us off, you know, how did you guys get started with your business? We opened up in July 15th of 2022. We wanted to bring Fresh Island Poke to the Aia area. We didn't find much of that in that area, so we thought it would be a good idea to start one over there. My whole goal was to become a full-time commercial fisherman, be able to go out there, catch the fish, and supply you guys with Fresh Island Ahi Tuna here in Aia. That's awesome. And you guys are already successful. This looks so ono. Tell us about what viewers can expect maybe from some, some of your bowls. We'll start on this side. So there's three choices that you can get. Um, here we have our nachos, um, with our most popular flavors are spicy ahi. Um, second is our salad, which is um, mixed greens. And our, my personal favorite is our hot shoyu, our poke bowl, our number one seller, and our signature is with our ginger avocado. Ooh, okay, and then we're panning over the screen here so you can see that one. That's kind of like your iconic bowl. Yes. Good stuff. Now, besides, I mean, poke bowl, you can pick that up for, I'm sure, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You also have, like, desserts. I'm a big dessert girly. I like the sweet stuff. So besides all the savory stuff, what can you get for desserts? So, of course, we have our shave ice, but our most popular and best seller would be our kulolo sundae. So it's a piece of kulolo on the bottom, warmed up, two scoops of halpia ice cream, chocolate drizzle, and topped with macadamia nuts. And it looks so good. And I would wipe this, this part off because it's giving us a nice drip, though, but it, it's giving us a nice little, like, aesthetic look. Looks really good. And you can also get shave ice, like you said. Yes. Cool stuff. Okay. I do want to try one. So we kind of were talking about maybe trying this one, if that's okay. I can eat poke, honestly, at any time of the oh. day. So <laughs> I'm excited. So I'll take a, a quick bite out of this one. And what did you say was in this bowl again, just for the viewers one more time? That is our ginger avocado. That's probably our house special. We use this special sauce, Ginger Spread Man. So we use his, he's a local man here in Hawaii. So we use his brand with topped with onions, furikake, and avocados. And I would say that one and our spicy ahi is our top two most popular dishes that we have. Mm -mm, and I could tell why it's very, it's so good. It's really like nice and smooth and I could taste mm -hmm. like the ginger, especially and the avocado, the whole mix. So really great like dance in your mouth. Uh, where can we find you guys in person then? You have a location where viewers can, can find you physically. Where can we do that? Yeah, we are located in Aea next to Dixie Grill, coming up Cam Highway, right before 49ers. So if you go into the big parking lot, there's a lot of parking, plenty for people to come in. We are right next to the Tattoo Sacred Hearts. Ooh, sounds good. We need a good spot in Aea, and you got that right there on the screen. And then maybe close us off for today. Briani, where can we find that Instagram? Instagram is at, at Riders Shave Ice X Shape. Sorry, at Riders Poke X Shave Ice. Perfect, Riders yes. Poke X Shave Ice. So we have that scrolling on the screen so the viewers can find you and give you a nice follow. And definitely follow along with your journey. Really great stuff, guys. Close off for today. Uh, what is the biggest thing that you think that you learned from your business? Pros and cons. Oh, definitely the struggle is just finding a lot of uh, local fishermen to support and buy fish from them. So super grateful. Shout out to Nick Morris and Henry Ta. It's the Red Adventure crew. We just went out yesterday and we caught two ahi. So that's what we'll be serving tomorrow. So I think the biggest show was just finding the uh, local fishermen to supply us with the fresh fish. And you've done it. So great message to send out to those future entrepreneurs also. Thank you guys so much again for joining us today, Ryder and Brianna. Yes. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you.